Hello, Brittany here with Hashley Fam Videos. Today I wanted to do a real quick review of our math program that we did this year for my first and second grader. Um, my sister-in-law was asking me about our math and she lives out of state and so I was gonna send her some quick video and pictures and just thought, well, I might as well just sit down and do a whole review. So hopefully I can do this quickly and efficiently and just show you what I like about this math program. So this is uh, CLE Math, Christian Light Education. <clears throat> and one of my friends recommended this to me last year. For kindergarten, we've done rod and staff math. And I love that for kindergarten. It's very methodical. It's very heavy on instructional. Um, and with lots of kids to teach, um, I just can't do that much instruction for every grade. So after kindergarten, we start CLE. And that only starts in first grade. So that's why I've been doing the kindergarten rod and staff. So the CLE, um, our one year's worth is 10 individual booklets. And each book has about 15 to 20 lessons-ish. Um, I think the whole year is probably like 165 lessons or 175, somewhere right around in there. Um, it's just short of 180, I think. And I like the fact that we can go through one book in just a few weeks and then kind of move to the next book. And it just, it kind of encourages my kids that we're not like stuck with one book the whole year. Um, so real quick, I just want to show you the thing that I love about this math is that all the instructions are in the book with the exception of first grade. Um, now I don't know the higher grades because I've only taught grades one and two. Grade one, there was a teacher's book. This is 110. So they start out, here's 101. They go 101 through 110 for first grade. So I mean, they started out pretty simple with simple math facts. Um, I did purchase the teacher's book for grade one, um, and there was maybe one or two things that I needed it for, maybe like the story problems. But overall, it's pretty self-explanatory. You could probably use it without the teacher book and just make up the story problems based on like the picture that they gave you. Um, but this worked really well. They were each lesson is only a few pages long. It gets a little bit more challenging as they go on, obviously, but it's mostly focuses on addition, subtraction, um, counting money, using a ruler. And then after the first few books, so that's 101, I'm going to skip to 109 and show you. It was a probably one or two lessons in before they um, moved to speed drills for grade one. And I love that all the speed drills are in the book. So everything that I need is right here. I'm not having to go get another speed drill book or speed drill paper. And grade one, all the speed drills are in one minute. In grade two, they have two minutes. For speed drills and like I said everything is all here so this is towards the end of the year um, my son hasn't finished this book he hasn't got to this book yet I think this is his next one this is 109 so they're doing double digit math um, there's still a little bit of involvement um, you know this is the listening where the teacher will say a number and then they have to fill in the bubble of which number they're saying so it's a little bit more teacher based in first grade but for the most part Andrew can do this by himself with just a little bit of help from me. So they're learning money. They're learning to start using um, graphs and charts at the end of first grade. Um, fractions are introduced. And so you can see the difference. The beginning of the book, the beginning of the year, the first book was fairly easy. They're getting more challenging. Um, the pages, the lessons get a little bit longer, but still my son can finish this in usually like 15 minutes. It's not very hard. And then I also like that they have all the tests and quizzes in the book. Each book has two quizzes, quiz one and quiz two. And then in the middle of the book, probably so you could pull it out. I don't usually pull it out, but right in the middle where the staples are, ooh, sorry about that, is like the light unit test that you would do at the end of each book. Um, to just check their progress, see how they're doing. Um, and so I love that it's all right here, that I don't have to go get a teacher's book and a speed drill and this and that. Um, and it's just really convenient, especially when you have a lot of kids and you're teaching multiple grades.
So that was a grade one. There are 10 books. And there's also, I love their flashcard system. So addition and subtraction flashcards. I actually purchased two separate sets because I had, um, this covers first and second grade, but they're organized in such a way where I, I needed to buy two separate sets. So for first grade, they're blue. And there is a chart in the back here that tells you each day you move the cards around. There's the facts they have not learned yet, a new, unused facts. New facts once a day and then facts to go over each day of the week. And so they, they distribute them and you add in a new flashcard with each lesson in first grade so that they're covering all their facts but you're not doing everything in one day. So it's not overwhelming. And that was huge because drilling my kids with flashcards is just difficult, um, especially when you have a lot of little kids distracting. So this system works out great. Um, I usually pair my kids up and have them do flashcards with each other. And then the pink tabs are second grade. Now this is the same exact set. Um, they're just organized differently for first grade and second grade. So second grade, um, they're lettered A, B, through like M, flashcards. And then in the lesson, it'll tell you at the beginning. Um, okay, so at the beginning, the first few lessons are like review lessons. Um, so they're having you review things. Um, but so in first grade, it's a little bit, or this, I'm sorry, this is second grade, it's a little bit different than the first grade book. But it'll say right here, practice your A flashcards. So Juliet would just go grab her A flashcards. Um, they have the fact on this side and the answer on the back. Um, and they're tabbed, the blue side is for grade one, the red side is for grade two. So they're broken down by letters and they're also numbered. So it's really easy to sort through and organize them quickly. Um, if you, as long as you don't like drop the whole thing or something, which we've done before and then had to reorganize all the cards. So this is book 201, the first book for second grade. And this one does a lot of review this was a little bit challenging for Juliet because this is the year we switched from Rod and Staff to CLE. Um, so it was a little bit different because it didn't pick up exactly where she had left off in Rod and Staff. Um, but she adjusted just fine after a week or so. But they tell you count by ones to 50, practice your A flashcards, do your speed drill on page 66. So she would then go back to 66 and do her speed drill. And then what I love is she would also chart. In each book, there's a slightly different, it's a vertical graph or a horizontal graph or a circular graph or different kinds so she could chart, learn different graphs. She also has really great time with coloring in how many facts she did correctly and then charting her progress. She struggles with her speed drills and staying focused and not getting distracted. So this helps her kind of um, keep keep up with and understand how she's doing. Um, and she does all this by herself. Occasionally she'll need um, me to help her listen to her count or something if it's harder. And then she can go through and do the lesson. So this was like a pretest and the, a lot of review in the first book. Um, so grade two is addition, subtraction. Um, pretty much the same thing first grade did. Clocks, money, measuring, um, fractions, charts, and graphs, um, and then it starts multiplication in the last, I would say, last three or four books, maybe. Um, and they also have, so at the end, the lessons are shorter because they're um, doing the quizzes and getting ready for the test, so she also has all of her speed drills, and I know the quizzes are in here as well, somewhere. Maybe there's not a quiz because this is the first book, but there were activities in the back. But the, they do have the tests. Here's These are pre-tests because it was, here's the light unit test. Um, and it's all in this book. So between the flashcards and the book, that's all that they need. There were plenty of other resources um, to buy. There were no, number charts, counting charts, calendar books, clocks. So they do have other resources. So that was the first book. I'm gonna to go to the last book so you can kind of see what the difference they covered. 
The only thing I did not purchase was the multiplication flashcards. Um, I just had some on hand that I'm using now, but I'm going to go buy them because I just love this broken down system. So you can see at the end, there's still, she's going through and she will count by halves to 12, count by ones from 1,789 to 1,806. So this is a little more challenging, so I would probably listen in and make sure she's doing it right. Practice your eye and times one flashcard for five minutes, do speed drill, record your, your score on the graph. So she can do most of this by herself, and even if she needs help, Juliet can pretty much come and just start this on her own and then let me know if she needs help. And then they have all the instructions for second grade in the book. I'm sure there's a teacher's book, I just didn't purchase it because, well, I just didn't want to. I'm trying to have my children do as much as they can without needing me to sit down and teach a whole lesson. So story problems. Um, the lessons are obviously a little bit longer in second grade than first grade. Um, so I haven't looked at this book yet, so I'm not entirely sure um, what all they're teaching yet because we're still on the book, bef I think the one before this, 207 or 208 she's on. Um, learning about line segments and rays and shapes. Um, and I love the way this is set out. She can do it almost completely on her own unless she has a question. And it's just been super helpful to me to have something that my kids can go start on their own. And they were fairly affordable. I want to say that I should, I should look it up, but I don't know. I want to say each book was about maybe like $3.50, so I think the set like for a year was like $35 for all 10 books for one grade, and then the flashcards, um, and then anything else you want to add. But it, So it was very affordable, and I love this program. Next year, um, I, have, I currently have a second grader, a first grader, a child who will have completely finished kindergarten, and then my other daughter is about halfway through her kindergarten math book. So I'll probably um, start my two middle kids in first grade, in this first grade book, and um, Karina just might go through a little slower than Caden, depending, um, because I felt like, as looking through this, I felt like she could probably, wait, this is second grade, not first grade. I felt like she could probably, even though she's only done halfway through, Rod and Staff Math. Rod and Staff Math is actually pretty advanced. It's it's actually a kinder, it's actually a first grade book that they go through slowly through kindergarten. So I think she could probably handle this. So I'm gonna do two kids through the first grade. Andrew will go through second grade and Juliet will start the third grade in math. So I'll have four kids doing this. And I think it'll work better to have them all streamlined along the same thing and then also to be able to have them read through the instructions themselves and at least get themselves started and whether or not they have questions I can help them. So I hope that made sense. Hopefully that may help you out and let me know what kind of math you use because I'm always open to new ideas. I haven't purchased next year's curriculum yet and I'm planning on going with this one unless someone has a better program. Let me know if there's something else that works well for your family, for kids kind of doing math on their own or easy easier on the instructional side of math. So thank you. Have a great day.